Good day everybody and welcome to another PHP Runner tutorial. Today we will be looking at the amazing new image display options in version 10.2 of PHP Runner and ASPRunner.net from xlinesoft.com. I will leave a link in the description below to the download page of version 10.2. There are two methods to display images on your web page. The difference lies in the defined field data type within your database table. First, you can store images in a table with binary field types. Secondly, and this is the most popular way, you can store images in text fields. Technically images are not stored within text fields itself, but are used to store information about the image. For example, image file name, the image type, the folder where images are stored, etc. So let's start by storing images in binary fields. Here I created a table in MySQL with four binary fields. Two fields will store the images and the other two fields will store the related icons or thumbnails for the images. It's worth mentioning at this point that if you use this method, you will have to create a field for each image. And if you want to generate thumbnails for those images, you will have to create binary fields for the thumbnails too. I am using type long blob for the images and medium blob for the thumbnails. I now opened up a new project and select the table. Now I'm going straight to the field section. Here I untick the icon fields. Now you may ask how is the thumbnails going to display if I remove them from the list page. I will demonstrate in a moment. Now we are in page designer with both image fields in the list page. I am going to double click on the first and the software brings up the view as section for this field. Here we now make a few simple selections like image size, the width and height, the options to show gallery on a click and which images to show in this gallery. You also have the option to display other field contents. And last but not least, you have the option to show thumbnails. Since I am working with the image 1 field, I'm going to select icon 1 as the thumbnail field. On the edit as section for this field, options like required field to create thumbnails, thumbnail size and resize the image after upload options are available. I now repeat the process for the second image field, yet this time the thumbnail is going to be icon 2. So let's have a quick look at what we have so far. There is currently no data in the table, so I'm going to click on Add New. I supply a short description of the images I'm going to upload and click on Choose File. I now browse to the image, select it and click Open. I again repeat the same process for the second image which is quite a common process for your average computer user. After clicking save, the images are now uploaded and stored within the binary fields. Very interesting here on the list page, you see thumbnails instead of the actual image, as this is how I define it in the page designer. This also explains why I removed the icon fields from the page at the field section. Now I will demonstrate storing images using text fields. Here is a table called gallery with four fields. ID is the table key and then I have gallery name, description and images. The images field is of type long text. As I mentioned in the beginning, this field contains image information. Hence the reason for the capability to store multiple images and thumbnails. So no need to create additional fields to accommodate thumbnails. I'm now going to add the table to my current project. At the page designer, I double click on the image field 
and at the view as tab I click image. Again I have the option to supply parameters according to my needs. Things like area dimensions, settings on how multiple images must display, gallery display options, captions and tooltips and again thumbnail options. The tick box, the field contain image URL, are used in case your images are hosted on a different domain or in case you have a database table already populated in this manner. On the Edit As tab, for this field I select File Image. The Upload Folder field defines the folder name where images will be uploaded. You can change this to anything you like and you have the option to specify the absolute path in case you don't want the folder to be in the same directory as the application. This folder will be created automatically in case it does not exist with correct user permissions. I now click OK. I prefer a vertical grid for this type of data. So I do so by clicking on the Change button next to the grid type and select a Vertical Grid. Click Change to apply. I'm also going to change the font to bold for both gallery name and description. I now click on Advanced Grid and remove the label of the image field. Finally, I merge the two columns. So let's have a quick look at the application. Again, the table is empty, so let's add some data. Gallery name I will call Matthew. Put something in the description. And for the images, you now have two options. You can drag and drop your images into the area specified or browse to the images exactly like demonstrated before. I prefer the drag and drop, so I select 8 images and drag them onto the drop area. I wait a few seconds for them to upload and click save. What an amazing improvement. Thank you very much Xline Soft for this amazing software. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, subscribe and comment. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.